are you an armchair philosopher? Have you ever met someone who believes that if they were given the role of president or prime minister, they could make the world a much better place? If only they were in charge, then everything would be fine. But how does their personal life look? Are they living a happy or contented and peaceful existence? Or are they just another armchair philosopher? Remember that you are in charge of your own life. Well, at least in terms of how you approach each situation. Sure, there are external circumstances beyond your control, but how are you meeting life? Are you facing each situation with a fresh perspective, filled with love in your heart and reason in your mind? Or is your response falling short of the ideal? You might have seen teachers trending on social media or even heard them speak, and maybe you found yourself nodding in agreement with everything they say. They often express ideas that resonate with what you already know deep within. So if you possess this knowledge, why does life feel like it's full of stepping on Lego bricks and lost laundry socks? Here's something else that you might know. Without practice, there's no improvement. If you want to get fit, you join a gym. Passing exams requires diligent study. Achieving results demands practice. Philosophy, after all, means the love of wisdom. So if you want to be wise, you must practice wisdom. Here's a story. Once, there was a man interested in listening to a saintly teacher, but he never bothered to practice the teacher's instructions. The man's talking parrot asked him where he went each day, and he replied that he liked to learn about liberation. So next day, the man was leaving to listen to another sage, and the parrot asked the man to inquire on his behalf, how can I be liberated? When the opportunity came, the man posed the question to the sage. The man was shocked to see that the sage immediately fell down as if suddenly unconscious. People were very angry with the man for asking such a difficult question and told him to leave. When he returned home, he shared the whole story with his parrot. The next morning, the parrot was found lying motionless in its cage. The man assumed it was dead and opened the cage to remove it. To his surprise, the parrot flew up to a branch of a tree and said, I received the sage's message, and now I am free. It would have been good for you if you had acted on the instructions given. So to help, find yourself a teacher and apply yourself and practice. But it's not always so easy to practice on your own. Have you ever found that you started something with great intentions, but ran out of steam after a short time? So you might consider joining a group of like-minded individuals. Being part of a group can make applying wisdom in life more effective and even more fun. Have a look at the links below for more information on our courses, which operate around the world, both in person and online. You can join a great community of people who are practicing wisdom. It's a wonderful step towards getting up out of that armchair, opening the cage door, and flying free.